Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you for this. Another awesome, awesome opportunity to minister tonight to these, your precious sheep. I thank you that revelation knowledge will flow freely, unhindered, and uninterrupted from any satanic or demonic forces. I ask that you think through my mind, speak through my vocal cords, none of me and all of you, less of me and more of you. I decrease that the greater one may increase, and I believe you've already anointed these lips of clay to minister your word on this evening with boldness, with accuracy, with confidence, without error. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. You may be seated. Let's get right into it. We were talking about joy on last week. Hopefully I can clear up some some things for us tonight. Amen. Amen. So go to your Bibles if you have them. Uh, Galatians. Amen. And we're going to go to the fifth chapter. And you know where it is. We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 21. And when you get there, say amen. I hear the pages turn. That's what, you know, phones are, phones are good, but let's go, let's go old school. Amen. Amen. So here we have it. Galatians chapter 5 verse 21. Envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You're doing all these things, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 22, what the fruit of the Spirit is, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, uh, against such there is no law. Now, I, I got to, you know, give a shout out to my, to my boy. He had a birthday yesterday, so I don't know if he stayed up tonight to watch with Billy Ray. We, we say happy birthday to you, partner. I, I love you, man. And uh, may God continue to bless you with long life, strong life. Amen. 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 So again, verse uh, verse 22 in Galatians, but the fruit, notice it don't say fruits, but the fruit. So that means all these, all these fruit, you're going to have to develop. You're going to have to cultivate them. Amen. Amen. And so now we're entering into the, the thick of the holiday season. Today is November 1st. All the way into January 1st, we are in the holiday season. Amen. And, and so you hear the word joy uh, spoken all the time. But as a believer, we know joy means a little something different than the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. a a amen. amen. Uh, what is it, though? What is joy? Well, let me give you uh, the definition in, in our dictionaries. And it simply means in the American Heritage Dictionary of the English Language, the word joy means intense, intense, especially ecstatic, exalted happiness or an instance of just feelings. Now, we, we definitely, as believers, want to know what it says in the Greek. You can leave that up there for a while while they uh, meditate on it, write it down. Intense, especially ecstatic. Exalted happiness. Any anybody in here ever felt that way? Amen. A few, a few. Well, so, some of us married now. No, no, my married folks have been. Yeah, me on my marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Should have been excited, overwhelmed with joy. Amen. Amen. He the one. She the one. Now watch this. I, I, I got to move the Greek word now for joy, which is pronounced akara, uh, which means cheerfulness. For example, calm delight. That's big, calm delight. Also gladness. 
So here we have in verse 22 in the Amplified, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the work which his presence within accomplished. So who's doing the accomplishing of this fruit? The Holy Spirit gives us this fruit within accomplishing is love, joy, again, gladness, peace, patience, or, and, even, uh, and even temper, forbearance, kindness, goodness, benevolence, and faithfulness. I, 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 let me repeat, joy is not happiness. We, we see gladness there, but you got to remember, being, joy does not translate to happiness. Happiness is based on how you feel at, at the moment. Amen. I'm happy. I'm so happy. And, and then when the song go off, they were upset. <laughs> happiness is based on how we feel at the moment. It's, in other words, it's based on a condition. Soon as the condition changes, there goes happiness. Joy comes from what you know. Where do you attain your joy? Right here. 66 books of seeds. So when I'm feeling some kind of way, I need to go into my book. Amen. Find out what I'm dealing with. Amen. Find out that Jesus has all, whatever I'm, I'm dealing with, he's already overcome. Amen. And I'm saying that because uh, he said we will, as long as we're in this uh, world, we're going to experience some trials and tribulations. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that the believer, once I give my life to Christ, everything is peaches and cream. Amen. You're going to experience uh, some things in your life, some trials, some tribulation. Joy, I said last week, is a fuse to, to our faith. It's a fuse. Not many of us have had the pleasure of looking at a stick of dynamite. Amen. But if you ever seen uh, the cartoons, I'm not, I'm not talking about the road running the coyote because a lot of time his fuse, the coyotes, was a little short. And everybody knew, well, I'm dating myself. Everybody knew what would happen to the coyote. Amen. That's when cartoons were cartoons. Amen. Joy, again, is the fuse to our faith. And in other words, joy will cause my faith to implode. It would cause my faith to just take off like dynamite is explosive when ignited. It will, my, my, my joy will then, and along with my faith, there's going to be an, an, an explosion. Amen. It's going to start arranging things. So again, all nine of these characteristics, the fruit of the spirit, all of them must be what? Cultivated. What do you mean by cultivated? It's just like a farmer. He cultivates the land. Everything you see uh, on your dinner table, vegetables and fruits and whatnot, it, it's cultivation took place. Uh, your grapes didn't just pop out of a cereal box. It took some time to get those grapes to the store shelves. And so that man will wake up early, man and woman, will wake up early in the morning, go out there and, 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 and plow that field and plant seeds. Amen. Some of the OGs here sitting here tonight, back when I grew up, th this stretch of road starting here at 48th Street, almost all the way to 16th Street with vineyards. Well, you, you old enough, Sister Donna, remember that? Okay. You know, I got to check with her. She live on the young side. And, and people on, on certain Saturdays will pull alongside the road. And the man said, well, I've already taken care of the harvest. So go at it. Get as much as you can. You will see people loaded up with, with Smitty bags when Smitty was in business. Right. That's, uh, that's another name. And loaded, even pecans, you go down the 10 to, towards uh, Tucson, and you can pull up to the side of the road, and pecans be just all, you can just shake the tree. Pecans fly all over the place. Bags full of it. 
And I remember us sitting around, around over the holiday and cracking them pecans. <laughs> Amen. See, 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 y'all didn't have it bad. That was cult cultivation took place. Well, you're going to have to do the same thing as the farmer in order to, 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 all of us have love, but to, to elevate my love status, I'm going to have to cultivate it. I'm going to have to develop it. What about my joy? I'm going to have to work at it. I'm going to have to cultivate joy. What about peace? What about patience? You're going to have to cultivate Amen. those things. Amen. And so the word cultivate, again, I gave it to you last week. I give it to you again tonight. It means, according to the American Heritage Dictionary of the English language, it means to improve and prepare. And then here it's talking about land, to improve and prepare land. However, for a, a believer, our job is to improve and prepare our fruit. We have to uh, uh, improve and prepare our love walk, our joy walk. You're going to have to develop some patience. I gave you testimony. When I was younger, I would uh, I would go to the store, TGNY, only the OGs would know that, and, uh, and, and ask them to give me some model planes. Well, uh, I, I was interested in building it, but I didn't know how much patience it was going to take. Because you just couldn't just glue everything together in one setting and put the whole place, because it's going to fall apart. You didn't let the glue settle. You didn't let the glue sit. So I would use clothespins, put the wings together, fuselage together, and just let it sit. Amen? So you had to develop some patience. Amen. I never got into it. I don't know how these guys do it. Some of these guys are so good at these models, they have little paintbrushes with little people, and they done painted the people and the decks. And I say, now that's some serious patience. Amen. It's as by fertilizing, it says, to improve and prepare, as by fertilizing for raising what? Crops. We just talked about that. But here's, here we go. It means to acquire, develop, or refine as by education. So in other words, our education takes place where? In these 66 books. Amen. Jesus says, learn of me. Okay, so now I got to find out what would Jesus do in this situation? How did he act in this situation? Amen. What do I need to do to improve my love walk? It's, it's in your word. So how are we supposed to cultivate it? I knew, I knew you was going to twist my arm. Here, here you go. 1 Timothy 4, and, and we're starting verse 14 in the Amplified. Do not neglect the gift which is in you. So you have it in you, that special inward endowment, which was directly imparted to you by who? By the Holy Spirit, by pro prophetic utterance when the elders laid their hands upon you at your ordination. Then in 15 it says, practice. So you might have to work on, here's how you're going to work on your love wall. You need to practice. Right. Amen. Now, uh, there's some people you can love from a distance. I still love you. Now, see, love and like two different things. Amen. I, I used to hear uh, Dr. Price say it all the time. Uh you, I, you know, I, I, I love you, but that don't mean you, you're going to be invited to the family cookouts. <laughs> Still love you, though. Amen. See, to like someone means you're going to be inviting them over Christmas Eve. You have you some uh, eggnog and that old nasty stuff, you know. Uh, 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 of course, she would say that's the best. You might not be getting the right brand. <laughs> Here we go. See, this is why I couldn't finish last week. <laughs> Southern Comfort. That sounds like whiskey, Brother Eddie. Uh, it, uh, Southern Comfort? It's good. Yeah, that's a Southern Comfort. Eggnog. Egg, 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 egg. 
Lord Jesus. All right. Southern comfort. Okay. All right. Let's get back into the fruit. It says practice. Let me get out of love because y'all got on eggnog and all that other stuff. So you have to practice your, your joy walk. You have to practice your patience. Come on, some of y'all, you've been on your job 5, 10, 15, 20 years, and you, you know, some, some, some got you to 20. Some got you to 25. Some got you to 30. It had to be some patience. See, you probably didn't notice it. But after tonight, you're going to say, Lord, I thank you for patience. Because I was going to go up side of Shirley's head five years ago. <laughs> Now watch this. It says practice and do what? Cultivate. Acquire, develop by education. You're going to have to cultivate and meditate upon these duties. You're going to have to throw yourself wholly into them. Ask your ministry so that your progress may be evident to everybody. So you're going to have to be 100% in. Throw yourself into it. In, into what? Into the word. Amen. You're going to have to spend time. Amen. Nobody's, see, people get caught up trying to listen to, to all these people. Man, I'm, I'm, this is my 20th time reading an entire Bible from, from Genesis to Revelation. Do you get intimidated by that? Well, I, I've been a Christian too, about 10 years, say, but I, how do he read from Genesis to Revelation, all that? Uh, 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 Hagar begat Johnny and Johnny begat Suki and all, and all these names you got in some of these, in some of these chapters. Right? When I was a kid, they used to just throw me right to sleep. Cause I said, I don't even, Lord, I, don't, I forgive me. I don't even know half these people. So I'm going to skip this and move on to something else. Right. I'm going to get to the meat and potatoes of it. Is what? But there's no fruit. But there's no fruit. They read it. They, they, right. No See, the, the Bible says to study. Amen. We too busy trying to read it. Mm. Okay, so what you read it? But look at you look and, and watch the fruit. <laughs> See, if you want to know something about somebody, watch the fruit on them. Amen. Watch their fruit. And all nine of those, uh, the, what we just read, should be evident in their life. Now, they could be working on something. Praise God, amen. Look at 16. Amen. Amen. It says, look well to yourself, to your own personality, <laughs> and to your teaching. Mm -hmm. Persevere in these things. Hold to them. For by so doing, you will have both yourself and those you, who hear you. So people ought to see some fruit. See, man, you done came a long way. Amen. One of my friends that we, we spent time with in Europe, uh, he, he 180. Because he was destructive when we was kids. Teenagers. Now he's kind of on the soft side. He, it amazes me because sometimes I watch him. I'm like, man, he, he kind of different. So something took took hold of him. Some somewhere along the line, he did he clicked the switch. Now last week a question was raised that the believers told to put on the whole armor of God and cultivate fruit. Okay, e e Ephesians chapter six, verse ten, sir. Finally, my brethren. Here's the Apostle Paul telling us, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that may be, that may, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor. And then it goes on to list the whole armor. Not tonight. We're not going to get into that tonight. But here we are informed to put on not some of the armor, but the whole armor. And nowhere after this does he say take it off. So that armor, 
you walking around as a soldier. In Galatians, go back to Galatians 5.22. It talks about fruit, not fruits. It talks about but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. 23, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So what's the difference? Remember here at LGCC, and all you're getting, get what? All right. And all you're getting, Proverbs 4 and 7, and all you're getting, get what? So let me get enlighten you tonight. The fruit of the Spirit and the armor of God are two different biblical concepts. Yet both are important. Let me say it again. The fruit of the Spirit and the armor of God are two different biblical concepts. Concepts. One, the fruit of the Spirit are attributes which the Holy Spirit accomplishes or produces in each or within the life of each believer. It's given to us by Him, the Holy Spirit. Now, like leadership, there are certain attributes to become a, a successful leader. Now, in, in, when I became, when I was transitioned into the NCO ranks, you would spend a week in, in, at, at a, a quick NCO leadership school. And then after that, you will get other training to become the best leader you can be. Not everybody is cut out for leadership. And so some, 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 some attributes, some characteristics of leadership, they are integrity of character. Leader, a leader should have some integrity about themselves. Then there's the sense of responsibility. Remember we talked about that. No, in our society today, nobody wants to take accountability. Nobody's responsible. Well, leaders got to own up to it. Oops, I messed up there. Amen. If the job don't get, if the job doesn't get uh, taken care of, uh, my my supervisor ahead of me, above me, he, he's gonna let me know. If it doesn't go any, if it doesn't happen after that, his supervisor. It doesn't term. I can't say it in church. We say it in the military. <clears throat> after, after, if it gets to that that officer. You, you, you in buku trouble. So you might as well take responsibility and get it done. You work in the motor pool. They need them vehicles back online. I guess what? You're going you gonna, to you gonna work some overtime. Now, in the military, we didn't get paid overtime. Right, Brother Eddie? Yeah, you, you didn't get no overtime. You punching clock. Yeah, they don't care about your Man, I've been working t 22 hours. So? I figured it out. I, I did the math. I was like, man, we making less than nine dollars an hour, really, y'all. If we on the clock twenty four hours, can't change the sleep twenty four hours. In a twenty four hour period. In a twenty four hour period. In a twenty four hour period, you sleep for four hours. Four. You on the clock though? You can be sleep, but you still on the clock. I did it. I calculated that money. I said, man, we, we making it, man. No wonder the, the dorm room free. <laughs> Here's another uh, characteristic of leadership, professional competence. Professional competence. You got to know what you're doing. Hey, Amen. You ain't going to give no man an M16 rifle and put him out there in the field, and then he going to end up hurting you or himself. Amen. How about enthusiasm? You got to be motivated. You got to have somebody who's motivated about the job. Young kid, I told you I was supervising. He said, I don't want to be in the Air Force. Well, I can make that happen today. We can get you out of here today. Amen. Amen. How about emotional stability? Absolutely. All leaders should have some kind of emotional. See, see, 
We, we couldn't just, just go off at, at, at the sound of trouble. You're going to have to be, you're going to, you're going to have to be able to stand flat footed and critical, do some critical thinking. What do we need to do to get out of this area? You can't be just passing out. Amen. Amen. That's why doing training, they, they fired him around while you low crawling. What are you going to do when that, them bullets are flying over your head? Nine times out of ten, the kid that pops his head up, he getting either washed back or he getting washed out. He's not emotionally stable. Humanness. We're not robots. And then one of my biggest number one deals, you're going to have to have some self-confidence. This is what I learned while I was in, in the Air Force. Self-confidence. But it's just like the fruit of the Spirit. Now I work for another general, God. Well, God is the president. Jesus is the general. Work for them. And so I got to put on love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, meekness. Amen. Just like I had to put on the characteristics of leadership. Amen. In the service, I was a cop. So a lot of stuff you have to read. The, every every policy on that base. You can't be just stop people getting out your patrol car like you Barney Five, and walk up there and just blurting out stuff. You you better know policy. Amen. Amen. We go now to, to do some groceries. I'm see some some thing bring we can't. You could bring like to get a little snaps. Uh, don't 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 do that on here. Don't know. We not in Rochester, Dorothy. Just calm down. Yeah, Dorothy. You know, Kansas, Dorothy. Some of y'all gonna get it. Okay, so we 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 got the fruit now. Let me let me like because the question came up. Here's the armor of God. The armor of God is a metaphorical description. Metaphorical description of spiritual armor in which Christians are told to put on to protect us from spiritual attacks, mm -hmm. not the fruit. Right. Right. The fruit is, 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 is produced within you by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The armor of God, you're going to have to do by faith. And it protects you from spiritual attacks. Again, both are important. But they serve different purposes. Fruit of the Spirit is to develop or cultivate Christ-like character in our lives. I want to be like Jesus. Oh, do you? Well, then you have to develop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. While the armor of God is for our protection from spiritual attacks, and it helps us to stand firm in our faith. You got the breastplate. You have the helmet. You have the sword. Your feet are shod with, with, with peace. You have the belt. That's your armor. But it has nothing to do. You can have all that armor and still don't walk in love. You're not producing any fruit. You can put on the armor, but no patience. You can put on the armor and always mad at everybody. No joy. Now watch this. Jesus, again, moving on, he instructed us that even during trials and tribulations, you, we, we, talking about believers, you, be a what? Good, Good cheer. Have some joy. Amen. He 
told us we're going to go through John 16, 33. He already told us we're going to go through it. These things I have spoken. This is Jesus speaking. These things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Be, I've already handled what you're going through. Amen. But you, that don't mean you're not going to go through something. But while you're going through it, still have some joy. See, that's what makes Satan loses his mind. I'm doing all that. I'm throwing all these fiery darts, and they still walk around here talking about, thank you, Lord. Remember, he tried to get Job to do that. And then that wife of his, why don't you go ahead and curse, curse God? So joy is different. Again, it's different than happiness. You must feel something to have happiness. You do not have to feel anything to have joy. My joy cometh from the Lord. You must feel something to have happiness. To have joy, you must know something. If you know something, even when you're not feeling comfortable, uh, even though you're not feeling comfortable about, uh, comfortable about something, it can still you can still have joy. Amen. Come on. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me, that me is Jesus. In me, ye might have peace. In the world, say in the world. In the world, in the world you shall, you will have tribulations. But, conjunction. But, be of good cheer or joyful, I have overcome the world. I don't care what church you've attended or attending, you are going to face some trouble. Yes. And just reading this, I know he, I'm talking about Jesus, has been talking about joy here. How? Because he says, I have overcome the world. People, be, people done bounced all over the place trying to find that happy church space. They looking for that safe place. <laughs> but there's somebody in the weeds over in row two, lurking, <laughs> ready to get on your nerves. Jesus said, I have overcome everything the world has thrown. He's saying, know this, know there's nothing that you are going through where trouble is concerned that I haven't already taken care of. Just know this, there's nothing you're going through or will experience that I haven't already experienced. And then if you know that I, talking about Jesus, I have already taken care of it, you have a reason to be joyful and cheer. Amen. Whatever you're going through, Jesus has already taken care of it. Amen. But you got to walk by. You got to get a hold of this by, you got to, this is a good time to work your faith. Yes, you're experiencing, you don't feel it. You, man, you don't feel sometimes you, you look at that Bible and say, man, right now I ain't, ain't trying, I ain't trying to do this. See, that's where your faith comes in. Oh yeah, crack that thing open. Crack that thing open. When we got ready to, to, to test for promotion. Nobody sat in my living room and helped me study for the test. Right. You don't want to be promoted? Don't don't study. And you 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 would go over to your friend buddy house and we would have these flashcards. Because we're both testing. We might have different career fields, but we we're, we're testing. No, that ain't what that say. Man, you get the wrong card. No, that's not what that say. Go home and practice it. We'll meet again in another week. You're going to have to open up this Bible. Amen. Amen. Philippians 4 4. Watch this. Philippians 4 4. Rejoice in the Lord sometimes. Always. Rejoice in the Lord when you feel bad. Always. Just when you feel good. It said, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. 
So here we have Paul say, you're going to have to rejoice. The word rejoice in the Greek means to be cheerful. We just read John. Come on, y'all. We just read John 16, 33. Be a what? Here, 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 here. He says, rejoice. Rejoice. In the Lord. In who? The Lord. In the Lord. Not in the problem. Rejoice in the Lord. And that means to be cheerful. For example, calmly happy. Well off. Rejoice. Look, this is this is this is it's part of your benefit. But this is also part of the cultivating fruit. You're gonna to have to cultivate this. You're gonna to have to develop this. So anytime something comes your way that you have no control over it whatsoever, you gonna to have to sit back. Yes, we're gonna pray. Yes, we're gonna look find solutions to get out of it. Prayer. But I'm gonna be joyful. You be moving around. Have you ever seen me kind of people? If you, 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 if if they, if, uh, I'll be over here in a minute. Then they come over and you look at them and say, "What they come over here for?" <laughs> I, I told Brent a couple of times in, in what well, we've been in ministry. And come out, my, come out my bedroom, look at people. I say, "Oh my lord, you can feel it, man. That thing is thick like butter." Send them home. Oh, you need to go talk to them. No, 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 I don't want to talk to them. You see how they feeling? You see how they look? Could be your kids. What's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> and then they lie to you. Oh, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you lying. What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm here to help. I'm here to give advice. If I can't handle it, maybe I can guide you in the right direction. What's going on with you? Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, my granddaughter came to the house today to get in her braces. I said, Brian, what's, she was all right today because she wouldn't have to me. We, <laughs> we're talking about it at the service. Yeah. And I said, it might be them braces. <laughs> it is. And we say, they hurting right now? Huh? It is now. Oh, she feeling now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And cranked her up. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just the beginning. Because... In the morning comes, and I'm uh, <laughs> fit to mess that scripture up. Give me the TPT, verse 4. Watch, look what it says. Be cheerful. Watch this. With joy celebration in some parts of your life. Y'all ain't even reading that. You ain't no all up in there. Y'all ain't even reading. Huh? <laughs> Busted. Uh, oh, let's see. That's why you always spend some trouble. Uh huh. Busted. Come on. Be cheerful with joy celebration in some season. A few seasons. Every season. In whose life? My life. Watch this. He says, let joy overflow. For you are united with the anointed one. Who, who's the anointed one? Jesus Christ. Jesus is. Amen. He's the anointed one. Amen. You gotta talk to yourself. You gotta tell yourself. Come on. Wait a minute. I know. I know who I am. That's why I'm always telling you. You're the righteous. I'm, I'll teach this till he comes back. You're the righteousness of the Lord. You're the redeemer of the Lord. A lot of Sundays you say. Didn't we just go over this about six months ago? You're going to get it in the next six months, in the next six months, in the next six months. Why? Because fake comes by hearing. You're going to know it so good that you can just, you're going to be somewhere and somebody going to say something to you. You're going to say, you just blurt that out along with the scripture. Right now, you just got the wording down. When you keep going, when you when you hear it, when, you, when you're studying it, it'll flow out of you like rivers of living water. That's where you want to get. But in the meantime, you're not there. Don't beat yourself up. Break your Bible out. Amen. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. I wrote my notes. That's right. Let, me find it. Let me find it. Send, send a text. Send, your Bible. Send, send a text. She always text me. Hey, where that scripture at? 
And I sent her one back. Didn't you go to ministry school? You didn't you, 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 you. <laughs> Amen. Watch this. John 15, 11. Jesus again. Come on, come on, class. Come on, class. Jesus. Let me, I'm going to open up my Bible. Jesus. John 15, 11. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy, notice who joy it is. My joy is Jesus' joy may remain in you. His joy is in me. Amen. And that your joy, now he flips it, and that your joy might be full. Yeah. That's what no Christian can't say. Well, I don't, I can't do that love thing. Yes, you can, because God is love. He says his, his love in us. Amen. The day we accept him, that his love is in us. Yes, you can. You just don't want to. Right. Uh, the Amplified verse 11 says, My joy and delight may be in you, and that your joy and gladness may be a full measure and complete and overflowing. That's good. That's good. Tell your neighbor, you need a full tank of joy. Need a full tank of joy. Fill it up. He said, these things have I spoken. These things, what things? The word of God. Amen. Staying in the word maintains our joy. Yes. Let me say that again. I got one. Yeah, I'll get in agreement. Staying in the word maintains your joy. But many people let this thing sit right on their coffee table. Mm -hmm. While they're going through it, it'll sit on the shelf. And look at it. Still look at it. <laughs> just, just look at it. <laughs> it's going to flop up and do something. <laughs> I was sitting in my office the other day for all my trick-or-treaters. I was sitting up there watching Beetlejuice. <laughs> Couldn't say his name three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> and he acting a fool. But 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 they, they wanted all that hocus pocus, all that death stuff. They 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 was going after it. And he went about his way of uh, coercing some of them. You got to say my name three times, though. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, they need some help. They need this. They need to say my name three times. Right. <laughs> and one time she got to almost third to cover the mouth. Then she was by herself. And he, you know, just like the lizard, the, the lizard snake in the garden with Eve. He got her to say it three times. And that man wreaked havoc till he threw his rear end back in where he came from. The whole time the answer was right in their face. The whole time. You watched that movie the whole time. What they were trying to achieve was right there in their face. They didn't even need Beetlejuice. They were going, they, they're, they're calling something out of, the, out of death to try to assist them. Ain't that something how people go to these palm readers and all of that and looking for help and you you, you get the, it's right there. People paying good money. They don't want to do, and I don't look at it at work. Yeah, that's good. I don't see this at work. Look, if I could pick up a book on Kevin Samuels, read about him, why can't I pick this up and find out about Jesus Christ? If I could pick up a book on politics and read Thomas Sowell, why can't I spend a little time in this? You got to have some balance. Amen. But Jesus spoke with words. So the words of Jesus causes your joy to remain. The word of Jesus causes our joy to be full. Nehemiah 8 10 says, For the joy of the Lord is my strength. It says, neither be sorry, I'm reading the bottom part, neither be sorry for the joy of the Lord is my strength, your strength. Joy comes from hearing the word. Amen. Comes from hearing the word. Now, let me, let me wrap this up. In closing tonight, the Apostle Paul emphasized, I'm telling you, come on, y'all, especially those who serve in ministry. 
He emphasized in his letters his gratitude and joy with those who partnered with him in spreading the gospel. Philippians 1, I'm reading in the Amplified, verses 3 through 5. He says in verse 3, I thank my God and all my remembrance of you. In verse 4, he says, in every prayer of mine, I always make my entreaty and petition for you all with joy, delight. I do that now when it comes to y'all. Verse 5. I thank my God for your fellowship, your sympathetic cooperation and contributions and partnership in advancing the good news, the gospel, from the first day you heard it until now. God, he said, y'all make me happy. God, Every pastor should leave his church feeling that way. They're here to serve, not me, they're here to serve God. Amen. Again, Joy is distinct from mere happiness. Joy is like this is, is possible, even doing sorrow. Last scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4. Watch Paul. He said, great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glorifying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. In everything. You're not going to get my joy. I'm not going to allow you to take my joy. Amen. Did you get any of that tonight? Can we get God a hand clap of praise? Glory to God. That's good. Don't let anybody take your joy. Amen. No one. Amen. If you watch tonight uh, and you are led to sow in the, towards this ministry, QR code, scan that QR code there on your screen. Drop it in your mailbox, regular mail. Go to our website, www.lemmagodchristensen.org. Or give us a text. Amen. So that's four different ways. You got the QR code, mail, text, and our, our website. Love you. Remember, Jesus is Lord. And in all you're getting, get understanding. We love you. Thank you. Have a blessed, blessed night. All right.